Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Friday today, and I am about to take Mr. Rocky to the vet because he has to get his liver enzymes checked out again. So I don't know what he's sniffing here. What's going on? What are you smelling? Huh, what are you smelling? I've got him in his little car seat. You ready to go bye-bye? He doesn't know. Anyway, um, I had to collect his first morning's urine this morning. So we did that. And then he's going to get um, a blood test also just to make sure that the liver enzymes have leveled out. I'm hoping that they have. I'm not real sure. I guess we'll see later on today. But look at the cute little pumpkin sweater he's got on. I don't know what he is sniffing. Something in there. I don't know. Anyway, so we are off to the veterinarian. You guys, you are also seeing the very first official snowflakes in Wisconsin today. Mark it on your calendar. It is Friday the 14th. And I'm not happy about it. I'm wearing capris right now with Tom's with no socks. And yeah, it's snowing outside. Um, it was weird because it was sunny earlier today. And now it's just, you know, the snowflakes are coming down. Nothing is going to accumulate. Um, but I think it's only 46 degrees right now. Super cold. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not, like I'm ready for fall. I like fall weather, the crispness of the fall weather when the sun is out. When the sun's not out and it's rainy, I just want to stay home and drink coffee all day and, you know, stay in my pajamas and things. And that's probably what we're going to do when we get home after we're done going to the vet. Okay, guys. So we're leaving the vet's office. Rocky's in his little, his little car seat here. And we are going home now. Um, they were able to take the blood. They had to call like uh, a more experienced vet tech because his veins were so tiny and she didn't want to hurt him at all. So I definitely appreciate that. So it took a little bit longer than what we thought, but I handed in the urine and yeah, hopefully we're good to go. Hopefully we get some good news. Um, they said it was cheaper for them to actually send it out. So that's what we did. So I should be getting the results tomorrow, if not on Monday. So we're going to go home right now. What are you doing, mister? What, what is happening over there? You need to sit in your seat. Yeah, you need to sit in your seat. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I don't have his little vest on, so I don't have him buckled in. And I think he realizes that, and that's why he's trying to move around. But anyway, you guys, it is still flurrying. It is still raining. So we're just gonna go home and drink some coffee and snuggle for a bit. He's probably gonna take a nap. And yeah, I need to get some lunch. I might be going to the grocery store too because I do wanna be um, cooking. And what are you going for? I wanna, I wanna cook in the crock pot this weekend. I wanna make the uh, chicken and dumplings and I need to pick up some ingredients for that. Carrots, onion, I don't do celery because um, myself and my daughter don't like celery. So carrots, onion, uh, biscuit mix, um, what else, what else? I can't remember. Um, I think I'm just gonna get the biscuit, like the actual biscuits, like the Pillsbury biscuits in the roll, and we're just gonna do it that way. But I can't remember if there's anything else I need, so I'm gonna have to make a list. Okay, you guys. So I'm watching The Watcher, and anyone else out there watching it, and are you guys experiencing like deja vu? Because I swear to God, I have seen this series somewhere. Either I saw this exact show, which can't be possible because it's just coming out now on Netflix, or I saw something super similar to this. It was like a little bit different. So I vaguely remember like this family buying this house and it had sold for super cheap 
And they started getting letters. Oh my gosh, the dogs are arguing. Hold on. Anyway, so this family bought this house. And this is like the one that I remember. So not this one, but like a different one. And instead of the mom, um, instead of the mom like making pottery, she was an artist. And I just remember she was pregnant at the time. And I don't know, she had already had a child or if this was like her first child, but I know she was pregnant at the time. And then like the neighbors were there and then she had hired somebody to come in and help them with renovations in the house. And she like started like hating her husband and then like flirting with the, the one of the guys who was helping out. And then there was something with the wallpaper, like, because it was actually in the house, whatever it was, was in the house. And they started peeling away the wallpaper and they saw like writings on the wallpaper or something like that. I don't know. I can't quite remember, but, and I know this is based off of a real story or, you know, like a real haunting or something like that, but I'm almost positive that I have seen this before. And I just can't figure out where. And I can't believe that the producers of this series would make something that's already been shown to the public. So I don't know. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys remember or like know what I'm talking about, the other series that I'm talking about, I know it came out on Netflix. I know it wasn't that long ago. It was like in the past two years, I want to say, is when it came out. Unless I'm getting it confused with another story but I'm almost positive it was this Good morning one. everyone and happy Saturday today I am up early and I'm getting the crock pot ready we are going to be making chicken and dumplings so I did find several recipes online one of the recipes does call for milk the other one doesn't when I went to the grocery store yesterday I completely forgot to pick up milk at the grocery store. So we're just gonna not be using the milk. Um, and like I said, there's several different recipes online. Just use what you have. It's not rocket science, you know, use what you have. And if you wanna add things to it or subtract things to it, that's fine. So I'm gonna show you guys what I am going to be using. Um, and like I said, it's a little bit different than the recipes that I found online. So we're going to start out here with some soup mix. This is um, one packet of onion soup mix, and we are going to mix this together with two cans of the cream of chicken um, condensed soup. I'm also going to be using one cup of chicken broth, salt and pepper, a can of sweet corn. This recipe calls for one and a half pounds of chicken breast, and this is I think 1.7 pounds of chicken breast and it's half um, thawed, half not. It's still a little bit frozen because I just took it from the freezer and put it in the fridge last night. You're gonna want some non-stick spray. I have um, a package here of frozen peas. For the dumplings, you're gonna wanna use the Grand's biscuits. I've got some butter and onion and baby carrots, so let's start assembling this. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is spray your pan generously, your container that everything is gonna go in, or if you guys have one of those crock pot bags, you can use that as well. Okay, so I put in my chicken breast, and next I'm going to add salt and pepper to this. Okay, salt and pepper are on top. Next, I chopped up my onion, so you're just gonna kinda sprinkle that on. And this is probably a lot of onion, um, but that's okay. I like using all of it. Just kinda sprinkle it on there like so. There we go. Hey okay, guys, the dogs are going crazy. But anyway, next you're going to do your vegetables. So, I have my golden corn here that I'm just gonna kinda put on top. There we go. And I chopped up the carrots because for some odd reason, my slow cooker takes forever for the carrots to cook. So I'm just going to add 
all of the carrots in there. And if you guys want, what you can do too is salt and pepper um, your vegetables. Like each and every time you put a different vegetable in, you can salt and pepper them um, to add seasoning. But I mean, there's really no need to. Then you're going to want to add your frozen peas. They are going to be a little bit clumpy, but you can just break them up like this. There we go. Okay. Those are all the vegetables. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to put the cans of soup on top here, just like so. So there's one can and here is the second can. Like I said, this is just cream of chicken soup here. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to add the onion soup mix. And this is basically going to be our seasoning. So we'll get that all on there. And then we are going to add one cup of the chicken broth. And honestly, you can just eyeball it if it's like one cup, one and a half cup, not a big deal. So there we go. There is a nut, ooh, that smells so good, you guys. And then to top it all off, we are going to be adding our chunks of butter to the top. Now, I didn't measure this out. I just did six individual slices of butter. So, you know, like I said, you use what you have. Oh, these two stuck together. You use what you have and you just go with it, you guys. So there you go. So we're going to cook all of this on high for four hours and then we'll come back. So while everything is cooking in the crock pot, also don't mind this. I know it's disgusting, but it is what it is. I need to get a new one. Um, it still works great. This is for my wax melts. It still works really, really good. It's just that it's like super dirty on the bottom. And for some odd reason, none of that will come up. Um, but I'm going to be getting my wax melts ready for the day. This is Sense by Kelby in Apple Cider. And then I have Destination Wax here in apple whiskey smash and I'm also going to be using by destination wax this is the pumpkin apple preserves so all these are going to go in these wax warmers here and everything kind of has the theme of apple today oh my gosh it smells so good and can we just appreciate how this looks from destination wax her wax is so beautiful in the little square chunks I just love it so pretty and we've got our little bat going on here by Kelby there we go it's all ready to go okay we're gonna pour coffee this morning I've got my little Halloweeny cup going on here I got this at TJ Maxx and it really does keep your hot liquids hot and your cold liquids cold I'm gonna be using the caramel macchiato by International Delight so just a dab will do ya and then I also have caramel overload coffee going on here. So we're going to fill it all the way up to the top. And this will last me all day long. Okay, everyone. So it's been four hours since everything's been cooking in the crock pot. And of course, I forgot to record. I pulled the chicken out, I shredded it, I put it back in the crock pot, and then I took the biscuits and I rolled them out with a rolling pin and I cut them into tiny pieces and I just put them on the top. Now these biscuits have butter in them, which I kind of sort of forgot about. So I do have, you know, added butter in there, which there's nothing wrong with added butter. Um, but yeah, so this is going to cook for, it says an additional hour, but I'm actually going to cook it for an additional two hours just to get everything incorporated in there. And then I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Okay, guys, so I cooked it down for about an hour and 45 minutes, just to be clear. And also, I did use the whole box of the um, chicken broth. So I think there was like four cups in there. Oh, sorry about the dogs, you guys. So this is what it looks like. Again, if you guys want to add milk, you can. I'm not going to because I want it more of 
like a soup, but everything is cooked up perfectly and this is going to last us all week. You guys, this was so good, so flavorful. Um, definitely doesn't need any more like added salt or pepper to it. I think it has something to do with that onion soup uh, pack mix that I added in there, but oh my God, this is the best comfort food or like if you're sick, it's really good. Lots of vegetables. We got the protein of the meat in there and then the dumplings. It's superb. It really turned out okay, well. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Just a quick note that the vet's office did not get back to me yet for Rocky. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until Monday for his test results. But I've been watching The Watcher and I am still, you know, 100% guarantee that I saw another show. It wasn't called The Watcher, but it was based on the same true story. I did post it in one of my Netflix groups, and somebody said that they thought that there was a show based on this story that was on Lifetime, and I do think that that's the case, because um, I know that this was like a really popular story when it came out. So... Yeah, but I think it's pretty good. I'm winding down. I have about 30 minutes left of episode seven. Um, and yeah, then I'm just going to probably take a shower and stay in for the night and just relax. But I hope everyone has a great Sunday. I'm going to be posting this on Sunday morning. Um, you know, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see throughout the week. I will be sharing with you the test results for Rocky and I don't think I have anything crazy going on this week but oh if there is a new food at any you know fast food place or whatever that has come out that you guys want me to review let me know I'm probably going to go to crumble cookie um and get you know some of those new crumble cookies to review for you guys because you guys really seem to like that video so anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a fabulous day and yeah, get ready for Monday. Bye everyone.